Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Carolyn and I offer channeled messages of advice for those of you going through spiritual awakening or the ascension process. So today we have a weekly topic that has to do with being a child. Okay, being a child again, I would say. So um, I'm going to read through this and then I'll give you my take. And as usual, you'll get to think about it for yourself and what it means to you. Because again, as I've said, there are often multiple meanings. So I'm going to get right into it now, and I'm going to read the channel. All right. Again, this is the weekly topic. Where are the children, you ask? They are the light. They are the ever-increasing light of humankind. With their bright, shining light of individuality, they come to Earth to share their beauty, their knowledge, and their insight through a child's eyes. Look deeply, for within them you will see all that is to be in life, joyfulness, happiness, play, and fun all that is to be for all of you. For as humankind transitions to a more energetic level, a higher state of being, the children assist with this transition. Their bright and sparkling personalities, their love of life, their kindness and caring for one another raises the, the vibration of the network, along with all others in humankind who are contributing. You see it in their smiles, you see it in their eyes, you see it in their glowing faces. Do not discount a child's impact on the process that Earth is going through. Their innocence is of utmost importance to this awakening of humankind, for it is they who will bring about a unique vibration as part of the whole. Surround yourself with children. Surround yourself with their joy. Surround yourself with their laughter. If it only be you, if it only be you, be near. For they will bring to you an energy that will transmit to your being and allow you to rise faster in this ascension. For it is with childlike abandon that you will ascend as planet Earth and humankind. Children, the little ones, release the tightness and restrictions that adults of humankind have allowed to enter their being. Release this constriction that is upon yourself and allow the child within you to be freed. Laugh and love as though you were a child again, for your true essence is that of a joyful child. You never really left that child. It is within you always, waiting to be released, waiting to join you again in that playful place you were at one time, and that you were to be throughout and forevermore. Look deeply. Use the examples of how children near and far see life. How they, regardless of their circumstances, be it struggle, be it pain, or be it extreme joy, all smile and play and find the beauty in their day, in their own way. We ask of you this day to release the child that is within you, all to become who you are meant to be throughout and forevermore. In light and love, the light keepers. So I'll give you my take and then you can think about this for yourself. But I personally see two pieces here. We can take this literally. And I think that's a really good way to think about it. But we also can take it more metaphorically um, for ourselves. So first of all, the more literal interpretation is, you know, think about how you feel when you're around little kids or you run into them uh, on the street or in the grocery store. And I don't have children of my own and never have. So it's always kind of like, oh, I feel like I get all um, childlike myself when I'm around little kids. And it just makes you, at least for me, somehow it releases any heaviness that I have. All of a sudden, I'm just kind of in their space and feeling this light joyfulness. And you know, if you look at the world today, so many children live in such dire circumstances, but you still see them like playing and and enjoying themselves and finding laughter in it. Whereas as adults, mm, you know, if that was us, and oftentimes it can be, we just add on to the heaviness and think about the pain and suffering that we have. And kids, you know, they're just always, you know, especially like, you know, just in my, my examples have been, you know, like under the age of five. That's where you, I, th I feel like you really get all that explosion of joyfulness and that innocence and just still that amazing laughter. So here I think they're talking about that, you know, surround yourself with the, the kids if you can and, you know, be in their path and, and enjoy their smiles and their faces and, you know, don't be the grouchy adult that we can often be when kids get in our space. Uh, try to take in their energy and that love of life and that lightness. And I think you're going to feel different. At least I do. Um, again, I don't have children. Um, so 
it's always like kind of cool to be around the little ones and just feel that energy that they bring to us. And again, I think they are here for a reason. Those, uh, you know, more than just being here on earth and, and then living a, in a, a life, but offering to us their energy and their vibration um, that we so desperately need, particularly during these times. Now, the other part of this that I see is it's really talking about letting our childlike nature come back to us. You know, be joyful, be goofy, be be yourself. Um, I'll just give you an example of what I do. I mean, <laughs> I'll run around my house and just like act silly and goofy and start singing at the top of my lungs and spinning in circles at times. And I know you may think, okay, that seems a little strange, but no, it lets out all this joy and this laughter and all of a sudden you just feel lighter. I mean, literally, if you feel lousy during a part of your day, what I do is if I'm starting to feel down, I just turn on some music and I start dancing around and I just act silly and I start singing at the top of my lungs and I do this for like two or three songs and I'm not kidding you, it makes a huge difference. Think about what a, a child does. That's what they do. I mean, they just spin around and act silly and then they're giggling before you know it. We still all have that child inside of us that wants to get out. So let's not be so heavy about our day, so heavy about things in the world we can't control, because the more we're able to be joyful and light in nature, the more we offer that to others. It's about vibration, it's about energy, and of course we've had videos on that in the past, but again, it's how you come across. Let that lightness that's deep within you come out and express it and feel it within you, and I think you're gonna really notice a difference in your day. So again, bring out that childlike nature, be around the little ones when you can and enjoy their laughter and, and see, the, see the positivity in that for yourself and for others. So that is our topic for the week of, I call it just basically about children and the childlike nature in all of us. So I hope you take something away from this, consider it for yourself, and that you have a wonderful week. Again, thanks for joining me.